نفس إن لم تظفري لا تجزعي And there isn't anything dearer to shaitan than to sadden the believer in order to interrupt his journey to Allah and to halt him from doing good deeds. That there isn't a human being who is an exception to this rule. Sadness, if left unmanaged and inappropriately dealt with, can escalate until it claims the individual at hand. We will rise up to the top. They will never bring us down. We'll fight for freedom. Allah. Sadness, as we know, occupies the heart. It weakens the body paralyzes the resolve to move forward and for many people locks them within a vicious cycle of constant weeping and never-ending anxiety as Imam Ibn Qayyim he beautifully said لم يأتي الحزن في القرآن إلا من هي عنه كقوله تعالى ولا تحزن he said the term huzn sadness has only ever appeared in the Quran in the context of prohibition don't do it like the ayah where Allah says do not be sad With that said, I want to present 15 pieces of advice which I will share off the back of a character whom we have created, Adam, who has lost his father and is struggling to cope with the sadness. The advice that shall be shared, however, is geared to apply to every difficult situation that one could experience, be it bereavement, financial loss, breakdown in relationship, rejection, or any other sorrow that life will keep throwing at us. Our hope is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make these points of uh, a means of comfort, and relief, and recovery for the brokenhearted and the troubled, and a means of victory for the individual battle that every one of us is fighting at this moment in time or will definitely fight at some point in the inevitable future. I haven't talked to anyone in so long. We will rise up to the top. They will never bring us down. We won't fade into the night.